Today is Friday, January 18th, 2019. We got the sun low in the southwestern sky, and for now, clear skies all around. I'd like to show you my setup, my imaging setup, my rig. So I don't have my laptop out at the moment, just so I could show you the basic gear. I have an Orion Atlas Pro AZ Equatorial slash G go-to mount. Right now I'm using an 8-inch Orion Skyview Pro Newtonian Reflector. It's an F4.9. This piece right here is actually a Teleview Paracore 2, Teleview's gold standard coma corrector. And as you can see, I'm using a Canon T3i EOS DSLR camera. It's astro modded, but it's not cooled. I do have a, a cooler though. For auto guiding, I'm using an Orion 60 millimeter guide scoop with their really nice um, fine focus uh, heli helical focuser knob so that you could actually focus it without messing up the orientation of the camera. And that is the guide camera. It's ZWO ASI 120 MC-S. A lot of people suggest using monochrome cameras for auto guiding, but I get just as good of guiding as you really need for this. It's gotten excellent guiding. And I get to use it on lunar and planetary color shots too, so it's a double purpose. So this is my setup. I also have an Explore Scientific Refractor that I'll be showing you guys in my next videos. All right, so we're back. We got um, M33 and H alpha. You can just barely see it there, but if you notice this big blotch here, that's NGC604. That's the brightest and biggest um, H2 region of M33. And you can see, just barely make out the spiral pattern here as these uh, H2 regions um, sort of trace the um, spiral arms. I can show you a picture I have of it in luminance and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm doing a dither right now but I've routinely been getting like 0.2 RMS tonight um, pixels and so that's pretty good. Okay everybody, here we are in PixInsight. I'm going to show you just briefly how I do the luminance layering and some basic processing. So as I showed you before, here is the H alpha, only this is a little bit more uh, easy to see. It's a little more contrasted because I did a an automatic background extraction so you could uh, see the spiral arms a little bit better. And here's the galaxy from um, the luminance data only from a dark sky site using about 2.2 hours worth of integrated exposure. The video I'm making now is only on the final product of making M33 with its characteristic hydrogen alpha uh, regions included, which my camera couldn't pick up with just two hours uh, from a DSLR camera at a dark sky site. This is a decent image, but it's not, it's not very detailed. It lacks color depth. And after all, M33, or the Triangulum Galaxy, uh, it's really well known for just that that it just sort of pops. It really just has uh, a very rich color field and color depth because of those numerous H2 regions. They are uh, essentially their stellar nurseries like uh, nebulae, you know, like our Orion Nebula and such. Uh, only there's tons of them uh, and, it, and it's very well contrasted. So if you open up Pixel Math, 
and you just add into the red channel both the luminance and the HA and then just the luminance in the green and blue and then in here and then this uh, drop down menu um, you want to tell it to create new image and give it some title just call it HARGB and you just sort of drag and drop over to one of the files and there you go boom this is substantially better in my opinion than that one on the right now this is not done yet it's almost there but there's uh, I got to clean up the background and do uh, some minor curves adjustments and uh, saturation adjust adjustments but uh, we'll see how it goes and I'll show you the final image Thanks for watching, folks. It's cold outside though.